All right, it is blog post time. We've got uh, some events coming up for next month, what to hoard and things like that. Also, uh, we're going to hear about the Super Cosmic Crucible, which is going to last for five days. Instead of three days, there's going to be a week off before it. And then we're going to get somewhat new room bonuses for Cosmic Crucible, but most of them, they're just moving around. Like room five is not going away. Room six is not going away. They're just going to become rooms three and four. Brilliant! Brilliant! We're also going to have a special message from Reminex, who does things so that we don't have to. Greetings, Commander. I, the wording on this is a little off, in my opinion. I, I don't... I feel like... There's some... Maybe it's just me, like this FOMO. Like, you must do this! Like, it says right here. Uh, Crossbow has never been more important. With Quicksilver Shard on the line, you'll need each... Of the top crucible teams to have a shot at his shards yeah like you buy all the teams because we predetermined the rooms you know whatever right when firestar and gwenpool are keystone members of this must have team as they have specific abilities that counter the top crucible teams and stage rules especially in room five and uh those room five bonuses are not going away uh they're being moved to a different room which we're gonna You'll see here on the next seasons, right? Firestar and Gwynpool each give new war allies 50% accuracy, which bypasses Spider Weaver's accuracy mechanic and her passive ability when charged. On enemy turn, Firestar act attacks the enemy with the highest speed, which means you can pick off characters like Spider-Man 2099. How does Firestar gain charge to Gwynpool? But Gwynpool's power extends further. Her abilities allow her to attack stealth characters and flip stealth on enemies and no one can hide from the new warriors with Gwenpool in the battle. You don't want to fall behind in Cosmic Crucible standing. So make sure you recruit Gwenpool when she becomes available for purchase. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not a big deal. The release on May 10th. All right. So Solar Flare. So she's going to be the month long character and it's going to be a bunch of of events like a ton and they list out the schedule uh something this is actually positive it's not all just salt here at mobile gamer right so we have some good things right here uh there's gonna be some fully uh, crafted gear tier 7 pcs for grabs enough character shards for a three star um they talked about that they got the gear tier 17 covered for firestar okay extract these high value items in the, each of the missions and then right here this is kind of even a little bit further even if there are even more Firestar shards available in other events this month. Be sure to check the weekly bog events so you can aim for a four star unlock. Like, I feel like that's relatively good. Uh, they're also having more leaderboard events, uh, and you know, for the month long thing. And it looks like the T2 level five ions is now well, it has been for a little bit. You can get them as low as 10 percent. You know, it's it's getting better, but still not great. Now, feel the burn. Uh, this is going to be an event. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, there actually was a, um, <clears throat> there actually was a data mine suggesting this, but the main thing to know is to save, uh, it says, be sure to crack open your training orb. So there's going to be an, or an orb opening component of this event. Now let's take a, let's, let's go to a, a quick clip here from Reminex. Uh, you know, like, which is typically his motto is that, that he does things so that you don't have to, right? And so, um, so I'm, this is just, oh my God. Oh no, stop, 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 fuck, 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 fuck you. <laughs> oh my god i'm guessing he didn't he was just doing things mechanically and just rushing through the stream and it just happened like he didn't mean to open these and it was just like he was just like well, guys i just want to say this for absolute so you guys all know this the devil is in the details oof 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 let's keep going with the blog post my goodness i just had to share that I, because I, I can relate to that too. Like sometimes on when I'm streaming, I'm just like on autopilot and not paying attention to like what I'm clicking in game. 
All right, uh, Blazing Battles and Webstar. There's going to be a uh, Battling and Blitz event. Uh, Nowhere to Run, which is a quick rumble. Union Jack will be going into orbs. Kitty Bride is getting removed from the Mega Orbs. And then Bucky is being going to Elite Store. And then we're also going to be get Dormammu 7 Red Star, which is going to be a Dark Promotion credits. There is going to be an inver uh, the Invader Incursion event and there's going to be different parts uh, that you're going to be able to get to some parts you'll be able to get through it uh, if you have the team complete at gear tier 15 and other parts of the event are going to be at five yellow stars so if you took the time to spend money and get this entire uh, team at five yellow stars look at how they frame that the dangers are high and the enemies are determined both the challenges and the bonus difficulty so strike is opening up the resource cache for rewards so basically, if you if you if you spent the money, uh, we're gonna record re reward you even further. There are both first time mission rewards that include the following. So I guess if you uh, spent the money to uh, get them to five yellow stars, uh, they're going to reward you with uh, these rewards. Um, okay, Cosmic Crucible updates. Now the main thing is that there's gonna be a week off from Cosmic Crucible. Season two is going to wrap up. There's going to be a break and then we're going to have the ultimate 32. And so the ultimate 32 is going to be like a 32 person bracket and then it'll be for five days. Now, something that um, that I forgot about and that I want to talk about is that they make it sound like the usual new season drive, but score reduction. Basically, they reset some of the scores and the exact details of that. But what that means to you is you're going to be getting less Quicksilver shards basically is what that boils down to. So uh, I actually kind of like uh, the ultimate 32 uh, rewards, uh, uh, ultimate 32, not rewards, but ultimate 32 uh, room bonuses, kind of interesting. Uh, and then uh, season three, we'll have to see, there's some kind of weird stuff, global rules. So this is just for this one week, five day event, 32 people, gain 20% health and damage on defense, fine. And then these rules right here, stage one, are on offense and defense. Positive effect is probably to character. Increase the duration. All right, that's pretty cool. Up to a maximum of three when negative effect is applied to character. Increase the duration. So I'm having the ability to apply positive effects and cleanse negative effects. Trauma and safeguard. Those type of mechanics are going to be important in room one. Take room two. Fortify our characters will spread to adjacent allies. So uh, get ready to re mod and respect your characters for the iso class for stage two stage three uh web warriors uh will count as tangled web which makes some sort of sense somehow eternals are not tangled i don't get it i still won't get room five anyways stage four strength in numbers on defense and offense every consecutive summon character of the same Summon character on either side of the field adds 20% more max health for each future summon of that summon character. So a lot of people have been talking about like uh, Hela with Greg or Multiple Man or Doom even. But, you know, you could also run Kestrel. Also worth noting is that uh, World War II Captain America, uh, his his passive ability, which stops summons, only works in raids. So it won't work in Cosmic Crucible. Stage 5, health insurance on defense and offense. On turn, characters remove all positive effects from self and heal 10% of their max health for each positive effect removed. Again, safeguard might be a uh, interesting thing on how that works. And then stage six on defense and offense, special abilities cost three more and ultimate abilities cost three less energy. And I, I haven't fully wrapped my ra uh, brain around that, but that is pretty cool. Now, season three, uh, has a lot of the same uh, issues that we had before. On defense, all characters gain that. Cosmic villain mystic characters on defense have their speed and resi resistance uh, reduced by 20%. So notable cosmic villain characters are going to be as follows right here. You know, Dormammu, Hela, Heartless Doctor Strange. Okay. And then... Uh, unturn apply bleed to that character dark holding gamma characters have minus max health focus uh, resistance and damage so they're penalizing uh, dark hold and gamma characters on defense now on offense all non master of evil so master of evil will not have these villain mystic characters will have the following uh, reduce speed and resistance by 10% so 
notable characters would be these ones right here that are mystic villains my goodness and then also uh cosmic victim terrors on turn apply bleed to that character dark holden gamma so they're 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 they I bet you they're getting into this and they're like realizing that dark hold and gamma are overtuned uh and rather than you know buffing specific cosmic crucible characters they're just kind of pulling them back by adding these bonuses now uh we're going to read a little bit further some of the room bonuses are going to look familiar they're not changing uh stage one on defense fortifier characters using ultimate ability spreads all positive effects to agent ace and allies that's familiar striker characters on turn Bury that character for five percent of the character's max health and flip offense down and then on offense that also applies to strikers so like i said get ready to remod your characters which is fine i actually don't mind these i kind of think this is kind of fun uh stage two a hero mutants on spawn will gain revive once and immunity that's actually pretty pretty cool i like that uh stage three is identical to room five this is room five same garbage nonsense with Cersei and Icarus paired up with Tangled Web. It's trash. Oh my God. I guess, I don't, I don't know. Create a problem, sell a solution. So that's stage three. Room four is stage six with Wakanda. So same story, stage three, you're gonna put, you know, Tangled with Eternal and maybe you'll take out Noir and put a fifth character, maybe Doom or Apocalypse or something, I don't know. And then stage four will be Wakanda, and then it'll just run your Masters of Evil there. there. Okay, so stage five and six are different now. It's interesting that they they acknowledged that room five was a nightmare, and and, and there you go. You know what I mean? I, in another blog post, anyways. And so it's it's no longer stage five; it's stage three. Yeah, but that was stage five. You can't complain about stage five anymore because we moved it to three. All right, uh, st <laughs> stage five, building momentum on defense and offense. Special abilities cost two more ability energy. Kind of interesting. Ultimate abilities cost two less ability interesting. Uh, ability in energy, and then when an enemy character dies, ally characters gain one ability in energy. I have to think about that. How I, How's that gonna work? I don't know. Stage six on defense and offense. Mil okay, so this room right here is gonna be for rebirth, right? And just say rebirth, right? Now, two of the rebirth characters have a military tag, and that would be uh, Captain America and Winter Soldier. And then one of the characters has a symbiote tag, so that'll be uh, Agent Venom, right? Military characters on turn, if at least one rebirth character is an ally barrier for five percent of the character's max health. So you're just gonna put you're just gonna put rebirth here. Symbiote characters on hit. At least one rebirth character is an ally apply bleed to that enemy character rebirth characters gain revive once at 40 percent health fine okay so there's going to be an event for guardians of the galaxy and looks like cosmo is going to be an npc yesterday I, I i actually was thinking that cosmo is going to be a playable character uh based on the dev interview where uh they mentioned that there was going to be uh, a new a new uh, rig for a, a non-standard character like they had to do for Rocket. Hmm, doesn't look like it's going to be a Cosmo. And uh, overall, I think this issue is this this event is going to be a non-event. Looks like it's relatively easy. And the main reward for this event is going to be Thor Bishop and magic. In addition, you'll earn, earn enough yellow flash bits to buy a costume for each character. So I believe those are going to be old. I don't know that those are new costumes. I think those are going to be the older ones. So uh, I think overall that is a non event. All right, we've got uh, five shards of her currently on the web store. And the most important part of the blog post is that it's subject to change. I only found one big problem with it there was like an extra table in here like the part like the table for the part that was supposed to have training orb fragments was duplicated the one above other than that looks fine only one mistake wow 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 normalization of blog errors bye for now